so the next thing is nice long leader on your bobbin you're going to be spinning tricky fibers so you need to kind of have enough time to give your hands a chance to work and you don't want to be drafting right by the orifice so if you don't know how to put a leader on that gives you a nice long bit and also really helpfully that it's got a loop at the end not just a single thread because we're spinning slippery fibers and it's really helpful to be able to poke them through the end of the leader to get started rather than me trying to draft alongside and everything sliding off you're spinning with a reasonable amount of twist so if you've got a choice of ratios go for one that's moderately fast but while you're getting used to it you don't necessarily need to be spinning anything with anything super super speedy um, so I've just poked it through the end of the leader so this is just a short forward draw and what that's doing it's aligning the fibers as I spin and that's going to maximize the shine that we get from Tussa silk so Tussa silk is a matter fiber for mulberry and what we want is if we're going to maximize the shine is to spin it using a short forward draw so silk is a little bit more slippery than pure wool but it's not massively so particularly if you've been used to spinning quite some quite silk rich blends it's nowhere near as slippery being tusser compared to mulberry or other fibers like that okay so you shouldn't find the tusser silk to be horrendously challenging thing to remember is the staple length so with any fiber before you start spinning pull it out look at the staple length your hands need to be that far apart otherwise you're pulling on both ends of the same bit of the staple So if you want a different technique to use, the other option you can try is to switch from spinning from the fold. So to do that, you just pull off roughly a staple length, maybe it might end up being a little bit more, and you fold it over your index finger like so. And you just hold it between your thumb and your other fingers, and you're not gripping really tightly, just resting it there, just to hold the bent bit in place, and you're going to be drafting off the end of your index finger like that so the fiber will be going on in that way make a join and you can do that using a short forward draw in just the same way it's going to make your yarn slightly fluffier so it won't be quite as smooth and shiny but some people like it because it gives them a little bit more control the other option you can do is you can switch to spinning with a form of point of twist draw, so a form of long draw, and that's where you just slide your hand back, let the twist enter the drafting zone, and this is also going to be increasing the amount of fluff. You can even just sit and let the twist do the work for you. It does make a huge difference to how smooth and shiny your yarn will be though, but it, some people like it because it's quite a speedy way of putting quite a lot of twist in their yarn. In terms of amount of twist, the amount to use is entirely personal preference. Some people like a high twist silk yarn because they're going to be weaving with it. I tend to be knitting with my silk yarns, so I like a slightly lower level of twist. The thing to do, as always, is do a little plyback sample keep that to one side because that's going to be what you use to make sure that you put the right amount of plying twist and take a look at the yarn do you like how it feels is it coming out more cord like or is it feeling like yarn rather than something that you would be using to make tassels and that sort of thing with